Guten Abend, mein Damen und Herren. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to viewing of Germany's progress of the World Cup. This match is against Sweden. Now, originally this was going to be my second, but because I was too busy last week, I couldn't film the first match against Mexico. I'm so sorry about that. Ich tut mir leid. Ich tut mir leid. Now, I've watched Mexico play uh, South Korea, and apparently Mexico have done us a favour because, as you know, Germany were beaten by Mexico. And I was just gobsmacked. Gobsmacked. Absolutely gobsmacked when they scored. Germany were just, last week, little kids when they played. They weren't like the Germany four years ago. Because the idea is to be patient, to know what to, who to pass to, use the ball wisely, and just score, 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 score. Attack, 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 attack. But with Me the Mexico game, they didn't do that at all. They were just like uh, a Sunday league team, basically. Just like um, five-year-old boys playing football for the first time. Because every shot they did, they just passed it to the keeper. The keeper found it too easy for Germany to shoot. You know, they just found Germany's shots too easy. It was absolutely shocking. Now this game is very important because we need to win this game in order for us to go second place for now, joint second, because apparently South Korea, no, yeah South Korea were beaten by Sweden and uh, we need to beat Sweden by more than one goal, you know, because of uh, goal difference. Right now I'm in my warm-up gear, you know, like when, when the players warm up before they play. Germany get underway against the Swedish. And I also got another plan, my favourite pony of My Little Pony, <laughs> Rainbow Dash. As my mascot, if you can see that. She's flying sideways for some reason. She will become my mascot in every German game. At the moment it's coming up to 10 to 7. So... I'm not sure whether to switch to the channel that is uh, broadcasting Germany's game yet. So, I need to um, be honest with this first. Okay? So far, June, for me, has been the worst month of the year so far. Because at the start of June, I end up having terrible back pain, which lasted for like two weeks, I'd say. I'd say two weeks. Then, when my back pain was cured, it was all better. I thought, yay, I'm, re I'm, I'm ready, I'm, I'm, I'm better, I can move again, I can... Bend, I can, yay, my back is free to do what it wants. Then, but my back had a powerful ally, if you will, to make my month even worse. I happened to catch the cough virus. Yes. So, if I end up 
coughing while watching Germany versus Sweden and it sounds bad I'm very very sorry about that I cannot help it I've got a cough virus at the moment which I'm trying to fight I'm trying to fight off I'm trying to get my um, acting voice back as well but it seems like it, I've had it forever it's very it's awful torturous and I just want it to go away. I just really want it to go away. I really do. Now, back to the German game. And to concentrate against the next opponents. It's a good thing that Mats Hummels is not playing in this game because Mats Hummels obviously was just terrible last week. He wasn't like the Hummels we knew, well, uh, well, well, I knew, four years ago. Because he was just scoring goals after goals after goals. You, you know the match against Brazil, 7-1, four years ago. He wasn't like that at all. He, he was just either passing to the wrong player, you know, fouling badly. And what's worse, he even got booked. So... If he would have got booked again against Sweden, he would have been suspended for the game against South Korea. Wagner, not sure his first name, but Wagner was not impressive at all. He was just awful. He, every time he had the opportunity, it was either easy shot to the keeper or sky it. That that was the thing. He either that that was that was the thing. He either easy safe for the keeper or sky it. Germany just didn't have their shooting boots at all last week. They were just the Kinder Mineshaft, as uh, my mum corrected me, because my mum is obviously German, and that explains my half German heritage. And I was born in Germany as well. And why why can't I support Germany? <coughs> so, uh, the players that I would like to see this time, if I were manager, Marco Reus, you know, to give him a chance to see what he's got, because he was injured four weeks ago that he could not play in the World Cup in Brazil. So we need Marco Reus to show what he's got and hopefully get his shooting boots on to um, give us the points and goals. That's all I can say. Next is Gundogan. You know, see what he can do. I, th I think he played last week, I'm not sure. I can't remember. Player I don't want to see is Mesut Ötzel. Mesut Ötzel was not very good at all. I think he passed to the wrong player. He didn't cross very good balls in. And he just didn't perform. So instead, I think in his place would be Emre Jan. If he's in the squad. Emre Jan should be on the pitch instead of Utsal. Oh yeah, Mario Götze. The hero of four years ago, Mario Götze. Yes, I know, he's a Dortmund player. <laughs> but he wasn't four years ago because he played for Bayern Munich. But now he's a Dortmund player. <sighs> Let's see what both Dortmund players can do because Mario Goetze and Marco Royce together hey 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 that would be great that would be great Mario Goetze Marco Royce Emre Jan and Gundwan that those are the players that I would like to see in our next game it's uh, 5 to 7 now I think I'll switch channel on. 
<sighs> oh, we're getting to the anthems now. I think I'll uh, unmute. National Anthem of Sweden now. It's a very nice anthem actually. I do, I do like the Swedish anthem. So they're singing that, uh, I think it's their second verse now. Okay, here we go. We are underway. <sighs> what is this going to be like? I do not know. I do not know. Here is the shirt I'm wearing. And... I think... I'll put rainbow right here. How's that? Do you like it? It's good, isn't it? It's on top of the eagle. <laughs> it may hurt the eagle eye, but um, you know, it doesn't really matter because it's a t-shirt and I don't think he can actually feel it but yeah Rainbow is here as my mascot my favorite pony I have this as well I won't be waving it because you know it's massive it's absolutely massive but uh, okay we're getting the game underway now Now, I will be in like manager mode, so if I don't talk in this video. Oh, Royce is playing. That, that's good. That's good. I like that. That is good. And Utsal's not playing, which is slightly better. That, that, it's a good squad so far. But Werner, oh no. Oh, okay. Okay, Bergner is playing. All I can say is hopefully his performance will get better after the Mexico game. But we'll just have to see. But yeah, like I said, if I don't if I don't talk in this at, at times because I am currently in manager mode, you know? So Please enjoy my German Germany games viewing of the World Cup in 2018. Cross my fingers. So uh, Sweden are taking the centre. Right, they're starting the game off. Departure of the group stage. We've had talks of Clint's political storm to bad 
Rain Bell, don't let me down, please. Come on. Yes, we do have to win the game, obviously. Yes, we do. We've got possession at the moment. We just need to use it wisely. So Germany are playing in white and Sweden are playing in blue. It's uh, very clear, it's very clear, but Germany have got possession again, so that, that's um, very good. Left has got the ball. Oh, oh, oh come on, come on, come on. Who's good? Kimmich, that's it, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I think I think Kimmich plays for um, Leipzig. Red Bull Leipzig, I think he plays for. But I could be wrong. At least we have um, one Borussia Dortmund player. And that's uh, Marco Royce. So. game this one. No breaking game. Six. 
to the position in the opening. Five and a half minutes. Sweden, who have been on the back foot, are again now. The Classen have to shuffle into almost a well, that's a player up then. Right back position. Here he is, now trying to break away, sending Dorn clear. So Paul's arriving from the likes of Toyman and Forsberg. Here is Forsberg who plays in Germany and he's got the oh, no. to In the end, his attack is stuffed down by Thomas. Pick it up, Mike Meyer. It's a, it's a lucky thing that uh, Zatlan Imiprinovic is not actually um, playing this. <laughs> because you know how good he is. In the former Barcelona um, Man United player. So you know how good uh, Imiprinovic is. So it's a good thing he's not playing. But <clears throat> Germany still have possession, which is good. Kimmich now. This is close. Hector. Ball sliding in the centre. Burner there too. Julian Draxler of Paris Saint-Germain. Kim Luck was confident enough to lead the PFA Young Player of the Year and the Premier League winner Leroy Sane out of the Again with the misses. Come on, Draxler. There you go. That's how bad he was last week. <laughs> Too much more than I mean. Yeah. Oh. Ball, good ball, good ball, I think. That was a bad shot, Oh. 
foot and did up. Pitted his ear to the ground by the look of it. It's a free kick to Germany, which Chris will take. It's a man who made an angle for him. So Germany have made 122 passes, while Sweden made 6. That's how Germany can, you know, that, that's how Germany are, that's how patient Germany are at times. I'm sorry, it's, I'm speaking like gibberish, but if you're still watching this, hi. <laughs> Rudy, who plays for um, Hoffenheim. Should have been playing like this against Mexico. What was that? Oh no, no, no! You lucky son of a gun, Neuer. You lucky son of a gun. Now, Hector. 
Yeah. See, I was wrong. It was um, Bayern Munich. Kimmy plays for Bayern Munich. Sorry. <laughs> Sweden's first choice goalkeeper. That's uh, going to go for the national team. Press the ball now. Oh, oh. Uh. Oh, Good ball, good ball. Got a bad touch. There we go, he's on it back. Thank you. 
Oh, he was kneed right in the head. Oh. And plus he's got the bleeding nose, so it's pretty a bad contact with um, the player's knee and Sebastian Rudy. So at the moment Germany are down to uh, 10 men, which is quite awkward really. Ah, I think Gundogan's on now. Gundogan's on. That's one of the players I wanted in the squad. <laughs> yeah, so let's see what Gundogan can do. So we're in the uh, 30th minute. 30th minute of the game. Now in the 31st minute. 
and it's still nil nil, like the commentator said. <laughs> Wrong players again! Centre forwards playing right on the shoulder of the defenders. You do have a chance if you've got quality on the ball, and that ball from Klassen was fantastic. Well, Germany need a response now. Defensive frailties once again to the ball. One clean sheet and ten now. That's despite bringing in Rudiger and Hector. Switching things around in midfield. I just wonder what he's feeling now. He's, he's lucky he's got a team tour coming up. 12 minutes or so to get to that team tour and then. What's his word? Trying to chase a long straight ball. Certainly got some work to do. You know, it's 70% possession as well. Started off the game quite well. Royce was getting into little pockets, making little runs. But it's all wasted. Sweden have been so solid. Yeah, okay. Reward the fouls of the Swedish. Yeah, alright, alright. Yeah, sure. Very quickly pull back. When the ball comes in like that, pull back knows he's going to get back. You've just got to be brave. Jump into the ball coming in. That's exactly what he does. Gets his head on it. You know what's coming. Thankfully, he's not there. And the league in two countries, we've lost the Celtic. Now, this week, those Swedish fans. Celebrating with enthusiasm once again. We had a great time in that win against uh, South Korea. So this is what Sweden are good at, nicking the goal and then keeping you out. Wasted again. Completely wasted. Exactly what's happened. 
Stays like this, then Germany will be out of the World Cup. It will be the first time that they've gone out of the first stage since 1938. And so this stays like this, and you're just coming in after uh, enjoying the sunshine, being out for the day. Then uh, offer yourselves in, we could be in for a walk the second half. Oh, So you can run the attack again. They have possession at the moment. Germany have possession again. Every single time. Chris 
spirit kept it after the game. Lack of commitment, lack of dedication, lack of sharpness. Very still words. Not much sign of improvement, really. No, but what's he supposed to say? That's exactly what he should have said to him, because that was, that was the truth. Very, very poor, and yet could have had some chances and goals near the end, but just not what we expect from the German side. Defensively, Mexico really tore him to pieces at times. Sweden have taken the lead against the PM in Sochi on the Black Sea coast. There is a long way to go, yeah. Alright, Sweden on the attack. We're in the 45 minute mark now, and it's uh, two minutes stoppage time. Sweden. Put a blue shirt on, ref. I think it's um, it's half time, and as you can tell by the commentary, Sweden are actually surprising the world champions by beating them. As uh, I said earlier on, Germany so far are becoming the Kindermannschaft. The Kindermannschaft, that's what they're becoming. 
They're becoming toddlers. Well, join me later on when the second half begins.